When I was about 16 years old, um, I remember my dad uh, sitting us down and uh, me and my siblings and just sharing with us um, the vision that God had given him uh, to start a new church. As we began to start services and I started to watch this new thing that God was building, the vision that he had given my dad, he began to put that seed in my heart as well. It was specifically to build a church for the unsaved and the unchurched and the disillusioned with church. So it was just really exciting to kind of see these people come through the door of harvest and they knew, okay, I belong here and this is where I'm supposed to be. God sees you. He loves you. And you are vitally, vitally important to Him. From the time that I was a little girl, I have always loved music and singing, but the older I got, especially as I got into my teenage years, I became a very insecure and um, just anxious and fearful girl. And I remember there were times growing up that uh, my dad would say, you know, I will pay you $50. <laughs> if you would just get up and sing. You have such a gift, a beautiful voice. And I'll be like, no dad, not happening. Um, I think I was just so fearful of what people would think of me. Um, I felt like I wasn't good enough or what if I mess up and what would people think. When Harvest first started, we had um, like a small worship team and there were some things that happened to where we basically had nobody. Um, I think we had one keyboard player, um, but that was it. And we were days away from uh, a Sunday service and my dad sat me down and as the pastor, he was asking me, will you please you know, lead worship this Sunday? And I also kind of felt like as my dad, he was kind of ask telling me, um, I need you to do this this Sunday. We need you to step up. And I remember when he asked me and everything in me wanted to say no but there was this small part of me, and I think it was just a nudge from the Holy Spirit that I knew I had to say yes, even though I was terrified. And so I remember uh, reluctantly saying, okay, I'll do it. I got up there and I sang, um, and I did the music for that week, and I got up the next week and did the same thing, and I got up the next week and I did the same thing. There was times there at the beginning where it was just me and the keyboard player that we had, and there were other times where it was me up there by myself singing with um, awful soundtracks, and those were a bit awkward. I know he's rescued my soul. His blood has covered my sin. I believe. I believe. But I was getting up there and, and just doing what I felt like the Lord wanted me to do. During those early years of my worship leading, I have felt this sense of, like, this is my job. Um, you're the worship leader. It's your job to get up there and make people feel a certain way or make people feel the presence of God. It was this very unhealthy feeling of, okay, everything is on my shoulders. And almost just like God was not even a part of it, but it was like me as the worship leader, I have to make this happen a certain way. And um, I remember around the age of 18, 19, the Lord really began to bring me to a new place in my walk with Him. And I had gone through some, some hard things um, those later years um, when I was a teenager. And I really came to this place of just pure brokenness. And I remember being at the church um, by myself one night and just getting down on my knees and just sobbing before the Lord and just feeling completely and utterly broken and just asking Him to put me back together. And I just came to this new place of surrender. 
I think, in my walk with Him. And out of that, I think my faith just went to this new depth that it had never been to before. And just over the next few years, I think He was just slowly putting me back together in a new way and um, just taking me to new heights uh, in, in my walk with Him. Every single Sunday, I come to the church and I come as this empty vessel, ready to be filled by the Holy Spirit and just poured out. And I just ask Him to fill me and use me and I get to use this gift that He has given me to um, just lay before Him as an offering and just allow Him to get all the glory for it. I have seen so many beautiful miracles over these last 20 years that I've been a part of Harvest. When I stand and worship with these people that I have seen Him do such crazy, beautiful things in, I can see why they want to just sing and worship Him with their whole hearts. Because I know so many of the stories of what has happened in the people there. You can just see that thankfulness um, for what He has done just pouring out of them. And here most recently, He's began to give me songs. Um, for a long time, I wanted to write worship songs and I would try in my own strength to sit down and write and nothing ever worked. Here just a few months ago, he just gave me a song and I brought it to um, our band and we kind of put it all together. And now it's a song that I get to share with my church family. Wake me up to your power within. What I have seen since Harvest began is just this big, beautiful, miraculous story after story after story of person after person after person just falling in love with Jesus and allowing Him to do amazing things in their life. Spirit.